When matter meets its antimatter counterpart, both particles are annihilated, liberating most of the rest mass as energy. This is an extremely efficient fuel. For example, it would only take around 10 grams of antimatter to fly us to Mars in a month. The big obstacle here is that harvesting and storing antimatter is incredibly difficult. We can make it in particle accelerators, but it's slow and hellishly expensive. We've only been able to do this with small numbers of antiprotons at a time not the kilograms we'd need to get to the stars. Assuming we can scale up production of antiprotons by a factor of say, 100 trillion trillion, then pion rockets may be a possibility. Annihilate a proton and an antiproton and you get charged pions moving at near light speed. Channeled with magnetic fields, these pions provide our thrust at something like 50 times more energy per kilogram of fuel than the best fusion options. Low fuel weight means our max speed is limited only by how much antimatter we can make. 0.5c is plausible, meaning a trip to Alpha Sen would take 9 years. It may even be possible to push 0.8c, which would be nice because then time dilation really kicks in, bringing travel time down to 3.3 years from the astronaut's perspective.